understand this. Today is going to be a great day here in Rhode Island, and people are already at Narragansett Beach ready to enjoy this great beach day. And we actually didn't get as much rain as some other areas because of the White Mountains blocking that flow coming in. But for now, I'm Lily Farrell. And I'm Chris Bazakis. Good night. And good luck. And, and wash, wash your, your hands. hands. But for tomorrow, for your bus forecast, we are going to be a bit chilly in the morning, so you're definitely going to want to send your kids off with a jacket. But when they come back, they might be carrying it in their hands or in their backpack because it will be in the mid to upper 50s by the time they get off the bus. And icy glaze is possible as the freezing rain comes through with those road temperatures dropping. So make sure you do take it slow tomorrow. Right now, it is pretty cloudy out there. We do have those clouds over Burke Mountain, and that's just an indicator of what's to come later this week. And expect more snow than ice tonight and tomorrow, so don't think spring just yet. News 7, we'll be right back. So this is something you're going to want to keep an eye out for as winds could be damaging. Trees might fall over. This tree behind me did not fall down in this storm, but pine trees are a little bit weaker, so they're definitely more susceptible to being blown down than some other trees like oak trees, which are a bit stronger. This is partially because we do have our next weather maker, which is this low pressure system that will move into our region Monday night and into Tuesday. Now we do have Tropical Storm Barry here in the Gulf of Mexico and is about to make landfall in Louisiana, but here in New England, we are clear from any of that at the moment. So Lily, it was pretty nice out there today. We're going to be seeing these Warmer temperatures continue? Well, it was pretty nice out today. Uh, it's not going to be as warm as it has been today for the next few days, but it's not going to be as cold as it has been in the past few weeks. Well, it's pretty chilly out there right now. Lindenville, it's at 11 degrees, and Burlington, it is 15 degrees, and there's still a nice sunset going on in Burlington right now. So currently, it is 14 in St. Johnsbury, 10 in Lindenville and six in Newport, it's pretty chilly in the Northeast Kingdom, then a little warmer, Burlington at 15 degrees. And it will continue to get colder as we head into tonight. Now, HD radar isn't showing anything going on right now, and that's partially why we do have these colder temperatures, because there's no clouds to help trap the warm air in, if there was any warm air. But we are going to see some more clouds leave the area overnight, but by tomorrow morning, you could see a few start to move in. But overall, it's going to be pretty clear tomorrow and into Saturday. We could see some more clouds move in and maybe even some snow flurries Saturday morning. So if you're lows tonight, we are going to be below zero. So St. John's, we're, we're expecting negative eight degrees. Lindenville, below, seven below. Newport, four below zero with some partly cloudy skies, which it's going to be pretty cold. So make sure you do bundle up when you go to bed tonight. But we are going to be in the 20s for tomorrow. So we are warming up a little bit. St. John's Bay 25, Littleton 22, and Lebanon at 27 degrees. Now the weekend, we are actually going to be warming up even more. By Saturday, we are going to be 32 degrees, and Sunday, it's going to be almost near 40, but we do have those snow flurries coming through Saturday morning. But this weekend is going to be a great weekend to go outside and get some winter stuff done, and we could do, you could go skiing. It'll be nice and out there for that. It'll be nice and warmish, warmish for now. <laughs> But it will be partly cloudy, but it will be pretty nice out there for this weekend. So this is definitely the weekend to do stuff. So looking at your extended forecast, tonight is going to be pretty chilly out there. Then tomorrow it's going to be in the 20s, but Friday night it's going to be back in the single digits. And this weekend will be pretty nice with some sunny skies and some partly cloudy skies. And we don't have another system moving in until Tuesday, which we could see some rain as temperatures warm up. Yeah, that's some good news. Yes. Well, thank you, Lily. <laughs> yep.